Alright, so this is probably going to be a rather unscripted video where I'm just going to kind of briefly talk about some of the machinist changes coming up for Shadowbringers and what I like and don't like about what I've seen so far. Obviously what's been shown most of on YouTube and on the streams is uh, subject to some change before the release, but I'm going to take the assumption that it's not going to change much, if at all. Um, some things that I like is the change to being able to control your heat and when you overheat. Obviously you're able to control when you overheat with flamethrower currently, but being able to just use a skill and then overheat on command is definitely a utility change that I like. But I think instead of going over all the things that I do like about it, I think I want to cover some of the things that I don't like, which is going back to the skill of flamethrower, is that without any sort of heat buildup on flamethrower as it is right now, I think comparatively um, from what I've seen in, in the um, in the uh, I guess beta footage that people have been posting on YouTube is that flamethrower is only like a 100 or 200 potency um, damage increase over just spamming the uh, new spread shot which I think is a hundred potency stronger than in, than right now I think when I looked it was 180 potency and uh, <clears throat> the stormblood spread shot is 80 potency so the increase, the only, and I think the biggest difference there as well is that spread shot's going to be increasing your heat gauge by five in the Shadowbringers, whereas flamethrower is going to be a small DPS increase in a 10 second time, but it gives no heat and there's no utility to it, and it's still in a long 60 second cooldown. So I don't really like that change. I think it should give five heat per tick. So by using flamethrower every 60 seconds. Even if you're outside of, you know, a mob, you're fighting a boss, it still has some utility. And so there's there's a reason to use it beyond just it's slightly stronger versus, you know, groups of enemies than just using spread shot. But I think the counter to that is that spread shot's still going to give you 25 heat within 10 seconds because you get to use it five times. Um, or, you know, four global cooldowns. So even 20 heat versus um, no heat. I don't, I don't really like that. I'd like to see some heat, even if it's, it matches, even if it's only 25 heat after 10 seconds, the same as spread shot. Then there's a reason to use it as a, a cooldown, as opposed, like, I guess the 200 potency is still enough for it to be a reason to use flamethrower. I just, I'd prefer to see some more, either more damage or some utility put onto the new flamethrower to actually make it feel worth using beyond just a small damage increase. Um, I am happy that the Goss Barrel is gone. That's always nice. The I did notice that there's a lot of potency increases just to your main skills. I think like for example clean shots a 400 flat potency now at all times. Uh, and the heated clean shot, sorry. Which is nice because we won't have the 10% or the 5% from Goss Barrel anymore. So. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna miss the ammunition. I just kind of liked it. I don't necessarily like the um, the chance to. I do like that we get to use it one after the other, but I'm gonna miss being able to like to have the ammo system and thinking about when to use ammo and when not to. Currently, you don't really think about it. Uh, as long as you're in rotation, you're basically just using everything off cooldown. But I'm gonna miss the ammo system. I do not like the new heat system in the fact that it doesn't really change your your skills that you're using. Um, to explain that, essentially how it is now, unless you get a lucky, a lucky like, split shot proc or something, or you, you try to get some, like, RNG proc, so you have a clean shot and a slug shot proc before you go into your overheat, um, you essentially just use a reassembled a heated clean shot, and then you just spam cooldown as many times as you can within the overheat. Uh, part of your rotation and the Shadowbringers variation you're still gonna be using cooldown I believe they changed the skill name but that's this is the skill you're gonna be spamming because it's the you get it's the you can use it during the overheat and I think it goes to it's a 1.5 recast so you're gonna be spamming this or the arrow uh, skill now I don't necessarily hate it but I would have liked, one of the things I wanted to see for Shadowbringers before I saw any of the new changes was a kind of a change to the way you did your rotation, like a different rotate, like maybe alternating rotations, kind of similar to the way 
well, not necessarily similar the way Summoner works, but just alternating rotations, so instead of it just being a flat one minute cooldown for your rotation, like you're constantly doing the same thing over and over, I would have liked to see maybe like an alternate skill rotation or something per overheat. Overall, I think I do like most of the changes. I don't like that we summon a robot at 80. Um, I don't mind the changes to the turret. The way that it's going to be more of like a, an extra DPS phase where you drop it and it just starts attacking by itself. But I would have much preferred at level 80 instead of instead of it turning into a robot. Um, a giant gun would have been more suitable in my opinion. Just makes more sense. <laughs> like the, the Junin... Junin uh, Bay Gun or whatever from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, just something like that would have been, I think, probably more suitable. Summoning a robot just doesn't feel right. And it, it kind of doesn't fit in the game, in my opinion. It just doesn't really work. But I guess that's more of a... Just a personal dislike. I appreciate the changes to Goss Round and Ricochet. I think overall the class looks like it's going to be better to play but one thing i am going to miss most of all is just the wildfire uh, i appreciate that it's essentially going to be consistent now it's going to be around a consistent 900 potency damage skill that you use every minute um, but i'm going to miss the way it currently works which is the 25 percent of all damage you deal is then dealt back to the enemy is sim for simplicity's sake, it's essentially just a 25% damage increase for 10 seconds. But I think one of the things I really like about this class currently as it is, is chasing the highest amount of wildfire damage you can get. And I don't do any, like, savages or ultimate raids or anything like that. I don't have a raid group that I work with or anything. But I think the highest wildfire damage I've gotten so far was about 36,000. Which, it, it's just it's just nice to keep getting those, those high procs for wildfire... And it's one of the things I do enjoy about this class. Um, and I'm going to miss going for the higher damage wildfires. You know, trying to time it with a trick attack or something. And, you know, relying it with, like, Alliance raid buffs whenever people are just randomly using them. But yeah, other than that, I, I do like most of the changes. I like a lot of the new skills. Um, where you kind of whip out like a, an alternate gun or something, or the auto crossbow, for example, and overheat. I think overall we, the Machinist has a lot more access to AoEs, which is why I'd like to see the Flamethrower have something other than just being a slight damage increase. But I think it, it probably kind of stuck in this weird place where they've kind of designed the class now where you don't need Flamethrower. So they don't. I, I can understand how they don't really know what to do with flamethrower. It's definitely a neat skill. I like using it. It just looks fun. But other than that, I think most of it so far looks pretty good, and I can't wait to play it. Um. But yeah, I'm. I'm definitely would like to see a change to flamethrower. Most of all. And that's that. <laughs>